Hi everybody, my name is Naomi. Welcome to the first ever She Rose of History video. If you haven't heard of She Rose of History, it's a weekly blog which tells the stories of amazing historical heroines. Please do check it out when you have the time. Now today I'm going to be telling you one of those stories about a warrior princess from a very, very long time ago. Princess Kudalun lived in Mongolia over 800 years ago. Now, her name is a little bit of a mouthful, and actually it means moonlight. She was the daughter of a powerful king who ruled over the kingdom. As she was growing up, she learned how to ride horses, shoot a bow and arrow, and to wrestle. Now, her dad's brother, her uncle, was always trying to take over the kingdom and constantly going into battle with her dad. Not one to stay at home, Kutalun would ride into battle with her father, using the skills that she'd learnt as she'd grown up. And actually, the explorer Marco Polo wrote about her in his diaries. He said that when she rode into battle, she would ride in, she would scoop down, pick up an enemy soldier, ride off with him. And he said that she was like a hawk, a big bird, catching its prey as it swooped in and flew off. But actually, although she became quite well known for that, that wasn't the thing that made her the most famous of all. As she was growing up, her mum and dad decided that they wanted her to get married. Now, Cutelan herself was not too keen on the idea. She really didn't want to get married. She wasn't having any of it. And she came up with an idea. So she said to her mum and dad, OK, I will marry the first man who can beat me at wrestling. She was so confident in her own abilities that she didn't think there would be any men that could actually beat her. So they put the word out and slowly men from all across the kingdom started to come to the palace to fight Cutelun in the ring and try and win her hand in marriage. And every man that fought her, if he won, he would be able to marry her. If he lost, he had to give her a whole load of horses. It was a bit of a wager going on. And man after man after man, they were queuing up all down the road. They would come in, they would fight her and they would lose. And she would get all their horses. And it's actually rumoured that she accumulated over 10,000 horses from all the men that she beat. Now, eventually, one man came along and he was confident that he would be the person to beat her and to become her husband. He was so confident that he bet 1,000 horses that he would be able to beat her in the ring. So it was the night before the big fight and Cutelan was talking to her mum and dad about this man with the thousand horses. And, you know, they were starting to get a little bit weary of all this. They really just wanted her to settle down and get married. And so they said to her, they begged and they pleaded that she would actually throw the match, that she would let this man win so that she could finally just marry him. And she wasn't too sure about that. And that night when she went to bed, she had a really good think about what she was going to do. She did love her mum and dad and she didn't want to disappoint them. But at the same time, she didn't want to pretend to lose at a sport that she was really, really good at. So the next morning she got up, she put on all her wrestling kit, she did her warm ups and she was ready to go and fight him. She went into the ring and she looked around at the crowds of people who had come to see this match. And as she started to fight him, she still didn't really know whether she was going to let him win or lose. As the fight got going, she realised quite quickly what she was going to do. She was really good at wrestling and there was no way she was going to let him win against her. And so, of course, she beat him, he lost, just like all the other men, and she got to keep those thousand horses. So she definitely wasn't short a horse or two. After all that, her mum and dad realised that she was never going to um, let any man beat her at wrestling. She was just far too good. And so they let the competition lie. And they said to her, when you're ready to get married, then you can choose to marry whoever you want to. And a little bit later, when she grew up, she did finally find somebody that she wanted to marry. But the thing was, it was when she wanted to do it and it was who she wanted to marry. She became famous throughout the whole of Mongolia for how amazing she was at wrestling and for being the woman that no man could beat in the ring. 
I hope you like the story of her life. There's lots more stories about lots more Shiro's on the Shiro's of History blog. It'd be great if you went and had a look. The website address that you will need is shirosofhistory.wordpress.com and there are a couple of other ways you can get involved with Shiro's of History as well. You can follow us on Twitter at Shiro's History. You can give us a like on Facebook which would be brilliant and if you do either of those things you'll be the first to hear when there's a new post on the blog and I'll always have lots and lots of updates about all sorts of other women's history related things. Now the other thing you'll notice if you do have a look at the blog is that lots of the pieces written on there are from people who have submitted them from all around the world. It's not just me writing. And if you would like to write a piece for the blog that would be amazing. If there's a Shiro that you've heard of that you think everyone else should hear about too then please do get in touch. There's a form you can fill out on the website and that will just come straight to me and I'll, I'll drop you a line. Um, so please go and do that if you think that you'd like to. I hope you've enjoyed this video and hopefully I'll see you again soon in the next one. Take care. Bye.